Today we're back with another Binding of Isaac Mom's Heart run. We are on run three, I believe. We have to get five kills on the Mom's Heart before we can unlock the rest of the game. So we're just going through some of these here. We got a chocolate milk build going. If you're not familiar, chocolate milk, you can charge up tears and it deals a bunch of damage. Or if you want to get carpal tunnel syndrome, you just spam it over and over really quickly and just keep flicking the control stick. I use the controller, not the keyboard. Yeah, it'll just give you carpal tunnel, but it, it actually works pretty well if you need to attack quickly. So there's that. It'll be a good one. I hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in. Small sample size agrees, 50-50. <laughs> but now we have one heart left, so we cannot afford to play any further yet. Maybe we'll find some hearts. Hopefully. But for now, we have to go back to clearing out the monsters and whatnot. Hopefully we can get through these pretty quick. Just kind of cook on through these levels here. Hey. Speaking of hearts, <laughs> let's try again. So, le level three. Increased angel room chance. As you can see here, on the bottom left, if you... Take a look to your left here. There is 0% chance of either of them. Either the angel or the devil. So that's not really going to help us. Uh, not on the first floor at least. So I'm not going to bother unless we get like a ton of hearts or something. And then maybe I'll try to get the, the further levels, if you will. But something tells me on the first floor... Probably not going to get that many more parts. Um, let's see. Keep on cooking here. I'm trying to see where the secret room might be. I'm not seeing any great contenders. I'm thinking maybe right here, but I'm not convinced enough yet. Once we go in this left room, we'll get a better idea. Got a pill. Definitely gonna eat that one. Health up. Health Heck yeah. Up. Okay, so I think it is in the the secret room is below us right now. And if you have trouble get, figuring out secret room stuff, um, I totally understand. I had trouble for a long time. Still kind of do, I guess. Let's see, um, but the basic premise is the secret room is always gonna border at least two other rooms. And you can't be blocked by anything. The, what would be the entrance to your secret room can't have a rock in front of it, right? So like this could be the entrance here. This could not be because there's a rock in the way. So you just kind of look around anywhere that there's like three rooms touching. I usually try to search there. Um, so there were two potential options. Three actually, if you include the shop here. Maybe we check that one out. That one also seemed to be a possibility. Yeah, there we go. So you kind of just go through as you're clearing the dungeons and just keeping mental notes of which ones could be the secret room or more importantly, which ones couldn't and then go from there. It's not an exact science, but that'll usually get you 70% of the way there because there are exceptions and <laughs> all sorts of other stuff. Don't even get me started with the super secret rooms. Those are kind of just a crapshoot. The only thing I know about them is they tend to be closer to the end of the the floor that you're on. So if I have extra bombs and I want to look for it, I'll usually start near the the room right prior to the boss. Oh, another thing is you can't have a secret room adjacent to a boss room. That's a hard rule. So don't even bother. Don't even look for them, because they ain't there. Alright, let's move on down. Looking like a pretty solid start, I would say. Pretty standard, I guess. Now this is a guaranteed bomb reward, so let's definitely grab you. And we'll keep cooking. Just clear out some of these little homies. You'll notice the first few floors are super chill. And then as you start getting your damage ramped up, 
or as you should start getting your damage ramped up, the enemies start getting a little crazy too. Ouch. You can see, since I took red heart damage there, I just lost 67%. No, <laughs> 64%. Not quite two thirds um, of the devil chance, which kind of sucks. Obviously, we don't want to lose out on potential deals. But such is life. And we have 16 coins, so I'm going to run in here. You do not see any good items. So maybe just donate. And yeah, you'll notice it. Since I blew up that shopkeeper, um, I got an extra 10% devil deal chance. Kind of neat. So if you got extra bombs, definitely blow up the shopkeepers. Okay. Gotta watch out for this one. Kind of blow me up over here. Okay, once we get that guy down, this is pretty routine of a room clear. Just gotta deal with the kamikaze, homie. Ooh, black hearts. Sure. I don't anticipate getting hit much more, so I'll take him right now. So I don't have to backtrack for him later. But if I were on a further floor where it was a little more dangerous, I may, may wait. What do we got here? Ooh, I like this. This item's really cool. So chocolate milk lets you charge tears up to 400% of your normal damage. But you don't have to charge it all the way. You can like <laughs> do a little spam thing. <laughs> Which I think is actually higher DPS if you don't mind getting carpal tunnel. Um, I guess we go in here. Ooh, Guppy is huge. Alright, we'll take it. It effectively costs three heart containers instead of two. But it's definitely worth it. Um, do we want to try any secret rooms? Not really. None of these look like great contenders, so I'm not going to bother. Save our three bombs and we'll continue on our way. Don't have any keys. We will not be partaking. Where are ya? And one of the lesser known uses for um, the nine lives, cat, guppy. Um, so right, so right now, obviously we have nine extra lives, right? It says times nine at the top, but. So normally you kind of just see that as like a safety feature, right? Like you're, if you die, you don't actually die. But if you find another sacrifice room, you can use some of your lives as sacrifices and then kind of works out well that way. Because normally you're not going to use all nine of them, right? You would hope. So you can leverage a few of them if you're feeling a little ballsy. Ouch. Now we're down to one heart, so that's not ideal. Oh my lord, what is going on right now? We are down to half a heart. Against Krampus, who's actually pretty hard. Oh, there you go. So this is the downside to nine lives, right? If you, if you get stuck on a boss, it's gonna kick you out, and then you just have to keep <laughs> Keep trying at it until you get him without getting hit. We'll just keep going here. Krampus is a, an especially difficult boss, especially without having many items here. I think when we when we bust him into two, we might just use a bomb here, just to get this hell over with. <laughs> All right, continuing on. Um, let's try to clear the rest of these rooms here. So we can't have a secret room down there because there's no access to it. And let's see. Anything good over this direction? Yeah, 
I'll kind of use it for those like small enemy spam rooms. <laughs> this is not looking great. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Everything is okay. Um, I mean, let's go in the curse room. Why not? We'll use another heart, but maybe we'll get something good here. We got an emperor card. And judgment. Well, <laughs> judgment isn't going to do a whole lot for us here. We'll just leave. I think judgment, if we can get to later on where we have a bunch of hearts, judgment will be nice. But it's not going to help us out a whole lot yet. Okay, do a little spam here, try to really nuke him down. And then when we're far away, we can throw out some big doy shots. Got some extra bombs. Okay. Let's go in here. No, let's not actually. I take that back. <laughs> I was going to until I realized that our shop is still open. Or is still closed. I'd rather use the key on the shop here. Okay, not a whole lot in here. So much for better shops. Maybe store upgrade level two will do it for us. I think we grab you and then we continue on our way. All right, so what you'll see here as we move on to the next floor is our planetarium chance, which is directly under the angel room chance. It's gonna increase. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> I guess we don't have planetariums unlocked yet. Normally it would, so if you don't open your treasure room in a floor, then the following floor is going to have a higher planetarium chance. Okay, we'll go here. What we got in here? Range and shot speed. You know what? Heck it. We ball. Gotta really play it tricky here. Gotta be very light on your feet. It's working. Sometimes you gotta live a little dangerous, you know? Now you get the good rewards at the end of the day. Come on, <laughs> we keep missing him. Throwing a rock is a chance to spawn coins. Very interesting. All right, let's try here. See if this is the secret room. It is not. Did we know that already? No, okay. Would have felt a little silly if we had already known that. Full send, where is he? Where's the boss? Way the heck over here. We already fought you in the boss room earlier. Little rematch now. Come on. <laughs> Just keep very slightly missing. Go here.
You're good. I don't think I want Guppy. See, like right here, we have a ton of bombs. Here's where I would guess either there or here for the super secret room. Didn't find it that time. But normally in those areas is where I would look. Okay. Can't get in there. So here's where I was talking about doing that whole secret room or sacrifice room, whatever thing. Which we could still do, potentially. But let's first see what we got available. Let's look in our upgraded shop. Ooh, little re-roller. This one could be good. Maybe we try it. Bonds batteries? No thank you. Um, let's just blow it up, see what we get. We got a D6 portion. Not too bad. A little trick you can do is if you find... Uh... Oh, we don't have any keys. Um... If you run out of coins and you don't want to pay any more for, th for those roll machines, you can just blow them up. <laughs> it works pretty well. Okay, we'll go here. Let's use a few more of our lives here. Got a treasure chest. Not bad. Ooh, a heart container. Okay. That's huge. And I think we're about done. So we'll wrap it up here. I think we're good. Um, let's try No, we already tried there. Just kidding. I'm gonna check to see if we could get in with the, the treasure room through a secret room. We already checked. Alright. Got another soul heart. Love to see it. We're starting to accrue our health back up. Slowly but surely. Gotta really focus on these homies here. They can be a little tricky. That coin. Heck yeah. Heck to the yes. Gotta watch for this guy charging. He doesn't seem to want to charge for some reason. <laughs> He's just gonna let us get him. We'll take it. What do we got in here? Still don't have any keys. What else have we got? This one, it's usually fastest if you just work your way against the stream. Oh, I did not even see that guy. Whoopsie daisy. Just came out of nowhere. This is a little... Whenever the attacks go 3D, go up in the air, I find it tricky to judge their trajectories. I usually just try to stay far away and hope. That's my general strategy. Um, doubles the keys would be nice if we had any keys. Which I think if we have zero, it gives you two. So like maybe we just do that. And let's get you. Nothing in this room either. Can't help but feel like the room rewards have been a little lackluster this run. Maybe that's just me. 
Maybe I'm lackluster. <laughs> Alright, we'll use it. We'll get two keys here. Anything good? Not really. Maybe this? Got some bombs. Um, we got a judgment. Ooh, we found the secret room. Or the super secret room. Heck yeah. Okay, well now that we have a bunch of coins here, we got a lucky toe. Heck yeah. <laughs> judgment. Uh, let's use this guy. See what he has for us. Anything? Anything at all? More health? Sure, sure. Alright, not bad. I have to remember to go pick up our our other card over there. When we get a chance. Okay, we found the boss. Um, before we go in, I think we'll grab the card. Otherwise, I'm guaranteed to forget. Maybe we should look for the treasure room, too, before we go in. I think we're on... I can't remember if we're on the... the floor with Mom. Or Mom's heart. No, it's Mom. We're on the floor with Mom, or one under it. Or one above it. Prior to. Pill? What is it gonna be? Puberty. Hey, okay, puberty doesn't do anything for us. Another pill? Balls of steel. Got some blue spiders for what that's worth. Not much. a bummer when they all the, the enemies in the room go in like this little middle thing and you can't get any of the room rewards whenever they drop stuff okay I understand so that was just the normal secret room we just hadn't found the other parts of it yet I thought it looked like the norm like the secret room usually on the map the super secret room looks different it's like a lighter color Okay, um, let's go back. No, we can't go into that room. I guess we're just going to the boss now. I don't know what else there is to do. Go up here. You gotta watch out for his little brimstone blasts here. They can sneak up on you. There we go. Ooh, growth hormone is great. Speed and damage, huge. Check out in this curse room. A false PhD. I think we can work with that. We got Magdalene. Look at that. <laughs> Sounds great. Okay, luck down, damage up. Always taking that one. And then we'll keep judgment. Hang on to him. We can definitely consider going for you here. Maybe get a few of these. See what we get. Doubles all room clear rewards. <laughs> that is incredible. Throwback we were talking about. I didn't feel like we got good room clear rewards. Well now we're gonna get double not good room clear rewards. These guys are a little menacing. Gotta watch out. Oh, 
double key. Look at that. What do we got in here? Okay, we can find the location of the secret rooms. Or the secret room singular. I don't know if that counts for super secret room too. Um, well, I think we start here. Yeah, let's just go this way. <laughs> I don't want to deal with those spike ovens. That doesn't sound very fun. Okay, keep cooking. Anything in here? Okay. Aside from some coins, not really. Aw, oh, dude, I wasn't that close. Come on. Cut me a little slack, would you? Double chest. And we can already see the contract from below doing work for us. Little heart action. Glass cannon, no thank you. That one is a recipe for disaster. Especially since I keep getting hit. <laughs> Which is gonna be bad. Loving it. Hmm, can we thread the needle here? Kinda. A little funky on the left side. I'm not used to it. This very well could be our secret room here. It is not interesting. I will say, it does normally seem like they don't go in touching four rooms for whatever reason. I don't know if that's true or not, but it feels like it. Double key, thank you, thank you. this one using a key heals half a heart turn half hearts into full hearts sure yeah I don't think we want speed down that seems a little much um, let's actually hold on to you while we break these rocks there we go we got an extra coin out of it all right full send let's do it of attrition right here. Whatever. Attack speed is very slow. Unless we want to spam. Alright. Maybe we just spam. <laughs> Maybe that's the way to do it. Alright. Moving on. What do we got here? We have entered the room. Hey, I do not anticipating using this little beggar homie here. when you don't have a map and you kind of just have to run around see who you can who you can find here 
Oh, apparently that's not the way to do it. We have hit a dead end. Time to backtrack. Maybe we go to the right here. So we got over this direction. Pain. Suffering. <laughs> this is not very fun. I deeply regret it. Alright. Moving along. The nice part about these guys is even when they're jumping, you can still technically hit them. They're not like fully airborne like some of the bosses are. Makes them a lot easier to deal with. Alright, let's check for some rooms. Yeah, there we go. Got a super secret room. This is gonna be great, actually. Hopefully you give something good here. A little health up, sure. We'll take it. And a heart, lovely. Alright, what do you got for us? A little slow-mo action. This is <laughs> gonna take a little while. These are always the hard ones when you just can't seem to get much attack speed or damage. And you're just kinda slowly whittling it down. Book of Revelations. Cool. I think that's the one that gives you soul hearts. Not entirely sure, but... Again, it's been a little while. Okay. Gotta snipe him, otherwise he'll barrow back down there. And then it's just a whole mess. Anything good? Got a soul heart, for what that's worth. Beautiful. Why is that guy so tiny? What the heck? Alright, we have finally made it to the boss here. After what feels like an eternity. Now this guy, we have a ton of hearts. Should not be an issue. We just gotta <laughs> work through it. It's gotta really, I don't know if you can hear my spamming on the control stick here. <laughs> But I'm spamming. Come on. We could probably use some of our bombs to speed this up, couldn't we? If they hit, that is. Dang! hit the friggin' dude! Alright. Well, that was a quick little jog we did across this last floor. Fortunately, we don't have to do a whole lot more with that build. There wasn't a whole lot there. We got one damage up item. We got chocolate milk. That was about it. Not a whole else, a whole lot else going for us. However, uh oh, we found a little Nutella jar. Um, oh, hello. That's terrifying. <laughs> well, that's two down now. Rubber cement, I see. Um, we got two down. Three more to go before we start unlocking a bunch of other stuff. So we're getting there. Hope you enjoy. I'll catch you in the next one.